right, guys. I know you want to get under the car, but before we do that, we're going to have to talk about wrapping your exhaust. You don't have to do all of the exhaust piping, but you get one 50 foot roll of black insulation right, with, wire, with metal zip ties to be able to do this. You'll be able to wrap all of your piping theoretically with this 50 foot roll, but this is the one that we recommend doing. And I'm going to show you how this works so that you can, you know, have some sort of confidence in it on your own. And this is uh, down pipe one. Yes, so the turbo goes here, and this goes straight to the exhaust that now has the Y pipe. So down pipe one, down pipe two right over there with the slip fit. There's two methods to doing this. One of them is soaking this in water for about 20 minutes before you do, uh, before you wrap anything. We didn't because we don't think we have to. Um, if you do, it makes it a little bit easier to play with because it sticks with the water, but this wrap shouldn't have that problem. Uh, one more important thing is, you see the gloves I'm wearing? You're gonna want to wear these for the majority of the kit install. Prep work, maybe not, but if your car's dirty, you really don't wanna get your hands dirty with oil, grease, and all this other stuff. But you really, really don't wanna get any of this fiberglass stuff on any of your skin. So I'm actually not supposed to be wearing shorts and a short sleeve shirt, it's just way too hot. Um, this stuff will irritate your skin for a very long time and it's just not good for you, especially if you inhale it when you're cutting it, any of the strands come off or anything like that. So extra precaution, extra caution for these things. Get some gloves, get a face mask if you're working under the car, if you're doing all of the exhaust. Protect yourself from it because it will, it's the stuff of nightmares, okay? So, on to this part. Um, you're not going to wrap the flex pipe, okay? This, stuff, this part, you have to leave. If you wrap it with this, it's going to put strain on it because this isn't going to want to flex as much. So we're going to do one section here and one section here. And you're going to wrap around the O2 bung. I'll show you exactly how that works. This is for your wideband. Yep. So for this part, I'm basically going to get a scissor and cut around this much for it. Okay. Uh, you're going to want to cut a lot more rather than cutting less. So we're going to get the scissors, I'm going to cut it, and show you exactly how it works. Ta-da! Right. So, what you're going to do is you're going to start right at the end of the flange. Just leave a little right bit there, here. just yep. a little bit so that you have enough to be able to clamp on. Yep. You want to leave about just that thickness right there. Right. You see that? There's a lip right here with the weld. You want to just match it up to the weld. That's about enough. The next part, what you're going to do is you're going to give it one full revolution around itself. And you're going to tighten it as much as you can. And from there, and you're going to go down and keep pulling as you're wrapping. And you want to make this about a 50% overlap. So just like the thermal insulation, that gold tape that we talked about before, you want to make it just like that. And it's going to be kind of a pain while you're doing it because the tape is going to want to unravel. So something like this will be totally fine just for this section, okay? And of course I cut it a little bit short, so you know, you're gonna have to play with it, but this is just the general idea of how it works. Now you're gonna take the metal zip tie, and this is where you need octopus hands. You're gonna do this, and the zip tie will only go in if it's straight. So, slide it inside, and push it as much as you can, and then you're going to want to, yeah, exactly, you're going to want someone to hold it down while you tighten it. Now, there's one of two things you can do here to get this to tighten fully. If you get a pair of pliers, um, or maybe even a pair of scissors, depending on what you have, if you're okay with it. but a pair of pliers, something like this, what you're going to do you're going to put the pliers in here, and you're going to twist. And that's going to force the clamp to tighten. So you see that? 
see that? Now it doesn't want to move as much. And while you're tightening, you're going to pull the clamp a little bit so that it's not loosening the wrap. Okay? This part you're going to have to cut your But you're going to tighten it as much as you can. And they make tools for this as well. So you might be able to go get one at AutoZone or Advanced Auto or something like that to tighten this. But a pair of clamps works just fine. You're going to want to make it as tight as possible. Basically, you're just pulling on the clamp as much as you can. And then you're going to do the same for the other side. Now I don't need the octopus hands because the, the wrap is sufficiently taut. tricky to get this done, but, you know, with enough finesse, you really get it. With no issues. There. Now that's tight. That's wrapped up. Move on to the other side. If you're scared about cutting it too short, give yourself a little bit more work, but don't cut it from the end of the roll. And just, what you're going to end up doing is rotating the pipe as you wrap it. And with this method, because this is such a long section, what you're going to end up having to do is give it a couple of rolls, a couple of, you know, layers like that. Lift it up, wrap it around, hold it taut, and put the metal zip tie on the front part. So once again, octopus hands, someone holding that end part so that you can do this. This is why we recommend having a friend over and bribing them with some pizza, some juice, <laughs> whatever your beverages are, keeping it PG. What if you were to do the other way? The other way, if you were to cut it like this, you'd end up probably doing something like what I did. Which is well, I meant uh, if you were to do... To flip, the, to bend it the other way, just in case they decide to bend Oh, to so bend this the other way. Yeah. Like this? Mm hmm Does that works still work? just as fine. Okay, good. All depends on what your preference is. What you're trying to do is make sure that this slides out. If you're pulling it the other way, you have to be careful with it, though, because depending on how hard you're pulling this way, you might end up breaking this part, like this actual tab. So, by pulling it this way around, you're not damaging this tab at all. I've seen people do it my way, I've seen people do it the other way, but my way, I think, is a little bit safer. You're going to have to, like, really yank on it. There we go. So now that's pretty taut. It's not going anywhere. Now, you can wrap it a little bit easier. And there's two ways of doing this. You can just keep twisting the pipe itself and have someone at the end hold it for you as well. And then just keep going with it. And of course, working around bends is going to be a little more difficult. Because you've got to adjust for the bend. But just keep playing with it. And you'll eventually get to the end. One other thing that you're going to realize as you're twisting everything is that this is going to get warped and you're going to have to twist this accordingly so that it doesn't bunch up on itself. Don't want to do it without gloves, yep. boys and girls. <laughs> hey man, I'm not a boy anymore. I'm yeah. a man, now that I'm putting this turbo kit on. Man! There we go. But yeah, it's infinitely easier with friends helping you out. 
And like we said, you have a 50 foot roll of this. And this is the only pipe that we're strongly recommending you do. Because this is the one that goes near your all the wiring, everything, all that stuff. Yep. Everything else is pretty, pretty far from everything. So here you go. And like I said, you don't, you want 50% overlap. I'm going with much less overlap right now. Just for speed's sake. Yeah. Take your time with it. Basically, yeah. Just like everything else with the turbo kit, you want to make sure that you're taking your time, get everything done right. So now once you get to this part, I would run one ring around it from one side, and then one ring around the other side, like that. And that'll make sure that you have enough around the bung itself to where it will not unravel or anything. And then you go back to the 50% overlap that you had before. And once you get to about here, you can stop. Yep. You're down well yeah. underneath the car. It's you're out of the way of any danger there. Exactly. So right around there. I'm going to give it just about a little bit of loops worth. Good scissors. So, once you get to the final loop, you're going to loop it around itself like this. Hold it. And you're going to play around with the shrink wrap. Spread it a little bit. Make sure it's all even. Get everything all tight. You want to make sure it's nice and tight. Lots of hands. You can't see it right now, but all the fibers from the tape are just in the air. You don't want to inhale any of that stuff. There. Once again, make a tool for this. Invest in it if you're going to be doing a lot of wrap, but not necessary. Also found that needle nose pliers work really well. Yes, they do. So any type of plier that gives you leverage on these things. So yeah, wrapped up. If it starts to unravel from one side, snake it. Tighten it up. Once again, if it starts to unravel, you know that it's not tight enough. So you're going to need to play with it, slide everything in, and fix it. It's not, it's not the end of the world, right, if it isn't perfect, which I did that on purpose so that you guys would see what happens. But keep in mind that this is insulating everything away. This heat wrap makes a massive difference from your exhaust temperatures. And feel free to use an extra tire too. Exactly. We give you quite a few in the kit. So. Exactly. You can get a lot of them. There's no use in conserving them and having them sit on a, on a shelf. They're stainless steel, so they won't collect rust, but they will collect dust. Aha, I like that. And once again, I'm by no means an expert. So I'm making mistakes and I'm learning as I go, which means you're going to do the same. There. Perfect. Wrapped All right. Up and ready to go. Wrapped up and ready. Let's get under the car. Let's wrap this up.